I just want it to be done and I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm in the parking garage right now. I'm getting my CT scan today. Um, because of COVID, I'm not able to go inside. Like I went inside and checked in, but I have to drink these drinks so they could like see my insides. And I already drank one, it's like a coffee cup. And I'm waiting a few minutes because I don't have to start the next one for like five more minutes or something. And so that's where we're at. It is CT scan day. I'm really not nervous at all. I feel really good, except that drink is so disgusting. So I'm really hoping that the second one tastes a little bit better. I just got my blood work done. It actually went okay. I always get really nervous doing blood work because I just, I don't like getting it, but it was actually really good and the lady was really nice and it was really fast and easy. And so grateful for that. Now I have to go pick up my prescriptions at CVS. This is eight days, eight days from surgery. I just left another doctor's appointment. This is my last appointment before surgery because we are four, four days, I think, until surgery. So I still need to get a COVID test, which I'll do in a couple days, and then surgery, and we're getting there. Surgery's coming. And now I'm going to drink these immunonutrition immuno surgery shakes. My doctor recommended that I drink these like five to seven days before surgery, two to three a day, so that I can recover faster. Okay, I'm at the hospital right now. I've been here for an hour. I'm waiting for my IVs and all my stuff. And I should be going into surgery in an hour and a half. We're now two days after surgery. It hasn't even been 48 hours yet. But we're on the second day after. I feel a lot better than I did the first day, but I still don't feel great. They just brought up my breakfast. I'm moving up my levels, so I'm not on complete liquids anymore. How's your day? I've been feeling up all day. I can't have anything to eat or drink. And I've been having the hiccups, which really hurt. And I'm just having a lot of energy. It is Sunday, June 6th. I'm still in the hospital. Um, they had said I was going to be here for two to seven days, and it's now five days, six days. I don't know. I had a rough couple days, but I'm feeling a lot better now. And I'm hoping to maybe go home tomorrow. We're going to see. Um, I was having a lot of nausea, and we were trying to figure out what was causing that, but I think we have it under control. I'm just trying to get comfortable. I've been having issues with the IVs and different different things, but we're getting it figured out. Right now it's about 12.45 and I'm just about to head out the door to go to a doctor's appointment. This is my first appointment of four that I have in the next three days because it's a very busy couple days because I'm getting ready for chemo. I didn't mention it before, but I do have stage three cancer and today I'm getting my port placed. So for those of you who don't know, a port is like a little thing they put in your chest right here and that's where the chemo is gonna be administered. So instead of getting an IV every time I go in and going through the arm, they're gonna go through the port in the chest. Um, I've been told it's a very easy procedure. I do have to be there, you know, early, obviously, to prep and everything, but the procedure itself should be pretty quick, I think.
Good morning. It is bright and early. I have been up for a long time already because I cannot sleep. But anyway, I have my port. As I already showed you, I got that done yesterday. I'm still a little orange because I can't shower for a few days, but it's fine. Um, and so now I'm up early because I have another doctor's appointment. I'm going to get a PET scan, which is going to uh, light up and show everywhere that the cancer is. Today I am meeting with my oncologist and then after that I am meeting with my surgeon. So I believe the oncologist appointment today we're going to go over my blood work, blood work results, hopefully they have my PET scan results and then I think I'm getting a start date for chemo today. Um, I think that's the plan so we'll see. Take this off because as you can see like it's getting like red around it and it's kind of itchy so I'm gonna take this off but first some people might be wondering like why there's two different like coverings like there's obviously one down here and then one up here so this one the one that's lower is where the port actually is that's the little device and then the this one up here is a smaller incision because for the port there's like a little tube that connects from here and it goes up and then like back down into uh, like a main artery here. So when they put it in, they had to do a smaller incision because there's like a tube that they had to put through here. Um, or like they put like a wire so they could get the tube in there and then get it back down. So there is two different incisions. I'm actually kind of nervous to take this off. I can't even like really see it. I guess I'll start from down here. It's actually coming like right off. Okay, so far that incision, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so that's not terrible. But it already feels so much better just having it like open. Actually, not that terrible. Okay, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Okay, so I didn't really go over what happened at my oncologist appointment and my surgeon follow up the other day. Um, it was just a very draining day, physically, emotionally, mentally, and I just needed to like wrap my brain around things even though really nothing i didn't get the results i'm not gonna say i didn't get the results that i wanted but i didn't even get results for some things um so to backtrack i i had my oncologist appointment where i thought i was going to get a start date for chemo and i was supposed to get my pet scan results um my pet scan results were not in and uh my chemo hasn't been approved yet so i couldn't get a start date so um, 
I kind of worked myself up expecting to get these results and expecting certain things to happen and it didn't happen. So I'm still in the waiting game. Um, the doctor said I should be getting approval for chemo in the next week. So, um, you know, it shouldn't be too much longer. They're expecting I'm gonna start chemo in about a week or so.